हेलो एवरी वन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व यू एम सी क्यूज ऑन द थर्ड चैप्टर ऑफ योर इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियरिंग एंड क्वालिटी कंट्रोल दैट इज इन्वेंटरी कंट्रोल द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट एन इन्वेंटरी ऑप्शन आर मशीन रॉ मेटेरियल फिनिश्ड प्रोडक्ट एंड कंज्यूमेबल टूल सो फ्रॉम द ऑप्शन यू नो द रॉ मेटेरियल यू इनिशियली परचेज द रॉ मेटेरियल इन ए लॉट दैन यू स्टोर इट टू मेक यूर प्रोडक्ट सो दिस कम्स अंडर यूर इन्वेंटरी द फिनिश प्रोडक्ट आफ्टर मेकिंग द प्रोडक्ट यू ऑल्सो फॉर एक्साम्पल द कार्स आफ्टर मेकिंग द कार्स सडनली यू डोंट सेल राइट सो यू स्टोर दोज थिंग्स इन ए पर्टिकुलर प्ले पर्टिकुलर रूम और प्लेस सो दिस ऑल्सो कम्स अंडर यूर इन्वेंटरी नेक्स्ट कंज्यूमेबल टूल्स Consumable tools mean the uh, means uh, the things which you consume or use uh, during production, like uh, um, your pen or paper or uh, the ink of your print printer. Those things comes under consumable tools. So after some time you use, then some of uh, of it you throw it. So these kind of things comes under inventory. Only the machines that doesn't comes under your inventory. The inventory are basically those things we uh, which you um, th those things I mean those goods which you uh, store to make some uh, product or to uh, resell it or to repair something or uh, during the production whatever you store uh, to use uh, that things comes under your inventory. And not only during the production, after the production also the finished product uh, you store it for some time uh, to uh, finally sell it. So uh, these also comes under your inventory. Second question is the following uh, classes of the cost are usually invent involved in inventory decision except we use um, while taking inventory decision we use the cost of ordering, cost of carrying, and cost of shortage to find out the economic order quantity. So these includes. Uh, first three things we generally doesn't include the machining cost third question is cost of insurance and taxes are included in so cost of insurance and taxes are in comes under uh, inventory carrying cost and the things which you do to uh, expenditure you do to i mean uh, carry your uh, inventory that is your raw material or finished good or any other things that comes under inventory carrying cost so the cost of insurance and taxes also comes under inventory carrying cost Which one of the following is true for inventory control? Economic order quantity has minimum total cost per per order. Inventory carrying cost increases with quantity per order. Ordering cost decreases with lot size. Yeah, those options are correct because what happens when you increase your ordering cost? When you increase your lot size, that means you are uh, ordering maximum amount of um, more amount of things. So at a time, so. Uh, when you usually order more amount of uh, things at a time we usually get some discount from the seller so in this way our ordering cost decreases and uh, also the cost of telephone um, you don't have to uh, like the loading unloading cost and the cost of uh, telephone all those things also reduces so th the ordering cost decreases with lot size because we are ordering so many things at a time inventory carrying cost increases with quantity per order yeah if you are ordering more amount of quantities then uh, obviously you have to store that uh, those things for that you have to uh, give the house rent and you have to give someone to uh, look up on those things so in this way the um, expenditure will increase like that is the carrying cost will increase if the quantity per order increases so we have to keep the balance between those things so that we can get our profit so that quantity which balances the ordering cost and carrying cost that is economic order quantity so the economic order quantity has minimum total cost per order that is also true so all the options are correct the time period between placing an order it's uh, and order it's received in stock is known as lead time the economic order quantity is calculated as 2 into ordering cost into demand divided by carrying cost uh, square root of um, 2 into or um, demand into ordering cost divided by carrying cost so the option is a next the ordering cost of an inventory is 400 and with an annual carrying cost 10 But you need uh, find the, the economic order quantity for an annual demand of two thousand is. So the formula to find out the economic order quantity is two into ordering cost into demand divided by carrying cost. Um, square root of two into ordering cost divided by um, two into ordering cost into demand divided by carrying cost. So that um, answer is four hundred. 
so um, this type of question usually it will take uh, one minute to solve so you can expect this uh, type of question also in the exam so little more calculation also come in the exam uh, question number eight which one of the following is the function of inventory to decouple or separate parts of production process to provide stocks uh, stock of good that will provide a selection for customer to take advantage of quantity discount yeah all those all the above are the function of inventory which one of the following statement about ABC analysis are true except it categorizes on hand inventory into three groups based on annual dollar volume that is true it is an application of uh, Pareto principle this is also true it states that all items require same degree of control no it doesn't require same degree of control so uh, we classify um, the items based on their uh, annual dollar volume as critical item more critical item less critical item so uh, different all those categories requires different degree of control so uh, the option c is incorrect uh, question number 10 is abc analysis is based on the principle that all items inventory must be monitored very closely no there are usually few critical items and many of them are less critical this is correct so you don't need to go for or uh, you don't need to read other options next a product whose economic order quantity is 400 experiences a 50 percent increase in demand so the new economic order quantity is your formula for economic order quantities that is eoq is 2 into ordering cost into annual demand divided by carrying cost root over so it is given in the question that your um, UQ is 400 when uh, it experienced 50 percent increase in demand so um, if demand will increase 50 percent then UQ1 will be 2 into C0 into 50 percent increase in demand means D plus 50 percent means 50 by 100 1 by 2 that is 0.5 D so new demand will be 1.5 D so now its demand is 1.5 D divided by CC square root so square root of 1.5 will take it to outside into square root of 2 C0 D divided by CC 2 C0 D divided by CC is your initial EOQ so 1.5 into EOQ that is that is given as 400 1.5 square root into 400 so after calculating I got the new EOQ as 489.897 so what is the percentage increase that is final minus initial divided by initial into 100 so the final value is 489.894 initially the economic order quantity was 400 divided by 400 into 100 so that is 22.474 so um, the answer is it will increase by less than 50 percent so option b is correct next uh, which one of the following statement about basic economic order quantity model is false if the setup cost were to decrease the economic order quantity will fall no it inversely proportional setup cost would decrease economic order quantity will increase so uh, this is strong so you don't need to look all the other options so this is up to this much you practice these type of questions you will get question like this in your exam